Oh, there it is. So let me introduce to you the Samsung S22 Ultra. Hey, that doesn't really look like red. Is this salmon? I think it's salmon color. So it actually kind of looks like a salmon. What do you guys think? Pink, red, salmon. As you can see right here, it has the quad rear camera with a maximum capacity of 108 megabytes wide angle camera. Okay, that's the beauty right here. Let's go ahead and remove this film. Nice and fresh and clean. I think I'm okay with this color. I was hoping for like a more darker red. Do you see a Samsung logo right there? Let me go ahead and remove this. Yeah. That's a beauty right here. And I noticed, oh, they moved the S Pen to the left side instead of the right side. And I noticed got rid of the audio jack. So for the exterior microphone devices, you have to purchase a special uh, USB-C type of jack. I believe these are the microphone ports. Actually, I'm wrong. It looks like they got rid of all the buttons on the left side. And these must be the volume rockers right here. So this must be the power button. Looks like they move stuff around. Okay, while wow, that's loading up, I noticed that's a front camera right there. And the front camera has a capacity of 40 mega pixels which can do 4k videos that's why i decided to upgrade and with the rear camera you can do 8k videos looks like there's some juice in here already oh i really like this screen right here it has wrap around capability now this is a very large phone measuring at uh, 163.3 3 millimeters by 77.9 8.9 millimeters in thickness and it weighs about 228 grams but what I do really like is the 6.8 inches of screen which is the Edge Quad HD plus dynamic AMOLED 2 times 2x also featuring the Infinity O display with a resolution of 3088 by 1440 and it has 120 hertz refresh rate Wow, here's what it looks like after I completed all the setup. Let's go in and peel the side tape too. I'm really admiring the beauty of this. Wow. It's so smooth. Let's check out the S Pen. I believe you can use it as even a remote. Yeah. Very nice color. Matches the back of the case. You have a lot of functions that you can configure right here. I really love the S Pen. Let's go ahead and test out the processor capability. Let me go ahead and play a video. Let's, let's just go ahead and play this one. It's pretty much there we go. Look at that beautiful screen. Covers pretty much almost the whole screen. So it's running at with the Qualcomm SM8450 Snapdragon 8 Generation 1 chipset using Android 12. It's upgradable to Android 12, 13 operating system. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison between... Guess which one is the Note 9 which one is the S22 Ultra. If you guess this one is the Note 9, you are correct because the S22 Ultra has grown in size in all three dimensions, length, width, and thickness, especially with the weight. I think it grew about 28 grams. Okay. Back to back, of course, we have the much more improved camera lens, which I'm happy about. I'll be making plenty of more videos. As I mentioned earlier, this would be a very simple unboxing and compare and contrast video. I will be testing out the rear camera capability specifically with 4K 6, uh, 30 frames per second because on the Note 9 is not able to handle 60 frames per second and also not with the iPhone 7. So I'll be pitting S22 Ultra versus the Note 9 and also the iPhone 7 which I'm using to record.
Sure, it is cold out here. Wow, it sure is cold out here. Wow, it sure is cold out here. Wow, big round of applause. I am shocked by how big an improvement the picture quality and also the video quality is with using the Samsung S22 Ultra, especially during the dark, taking pictures or videos. It was able to take the outline of the snow, which was hard to distinguish with these iPhone 7 and the Note 9, which I'm using to record now. There are a lot of aspects of this powerful phone that I have to learn and master. And with its much stronger chipset, it's going to power you through the toughest apps. I am pretty sure you have many apps running at the same time. Even doing some video editing and watching videos is going to be able to support it and with is large capacity storage for me it's 512 gigabyte making this the ideal phone because it has the best camera capability out there so if you are looking for the perfect smartphone especially being an android device definitely check out the samsung s22 ultra